Gravity. Add it to your program and it lets you throw balls, shoot arrows, fly off a ramp, jump to a new platform, or explode in a shower of sparks. If you ever wanted to add gravity to your Scratch game, write the word down in the comments below and keep watching this video. And while you're at it, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Gravity. The math behind it ends up saying something simple. If you drop something heavy like a hammer, and something light like a feather, which will fall faster? An astronomer named Galileo Galilei in 1638 realized that it doesn't matter how heavy something is. Whether it's a hammer or a feather, they speed up at the same time as they are falling, and they fall the same distance in the same amount of time, as long as there's no air. They'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? On Earth, we have air, so feathers fall slower than heavy metal balls. But if you remove the air, we live this distance from the center of the Earth, and the Earth has this much mass, so gravity accelerates objects about this much. Let's break that down. 9.8 meters is a distance. 9.8 meters per second is a speed. It means that you move 9.8 meters every second. 9.8 meters per second per second is acceleration. Every second, things fall 9.8 meters per second faster than they were falling the previous second. Let's look at this in slow motion. In every picture, the ball fell some distance. See how the distances get longer and longer? That's because in each picture, the ball is falling a little bit faster than in the previous one. You can look at exactly how much faster by looking at the differences between the distances. See how they're all the same? In your game, every time your sprites move, you will make them fall a little bit faster. The important thing that makes this simple is that it's the same amount faster each time. Let's start! Choose a sprite. You can shoot arrows or anything else that you want to fall. Is there something that I can be shot out of? Like one. When flag click, set up the sprite the way you want it to look. I wish the wand would like straight up and down. Go to Magic Wand, that's where the arrows will come from. Make a variable for all sprites called Gravity. Programmers often use all capital letters for variables that won't ever change while your code runs. Make variables for this sprite only called Speed X and Speed Y. Add, when I receive shoot, you're going to make this event trigger an arrow shooting out of the wand. Add, repeat until touching edge. Here's what will make the arrow move. Each time through this loop, we'll move the arrow by the amount stored in the speed variables. If the speed variables don't change, the arrow will move at the same speed across the screen. Add change x by speed x, and add change y by speed y. The speeds are zero, so set them to some number. Try whatever you want, maybe three for speed x, The top of the screen is positive y, and the bottom is negative y. So maybe 20 for y, so it moves up at first. In the one, when the sprite is clicked, send broadcast shoot. In the arrow, add when I start as a clone. When I receive shoot, then create clone of myself. Move the main code stack into when I start as a clone. Show each clone when it starts, and hide the original arrow when flag is clicked. Click the wand. The arrow moves! 
The clones are still at the top of the screen, so let's delete them after they touch the edge. Now how do you add gravity? Remember that every time through the loop, the arrow should speed up towards the bottom of the screen by the same amount. To speed up downward, we need to change the speed y variable, because that controls the speed going up and down. And we already have an amount to change it by in the gravity variable. We'll put this after the arrow moves, so every time the arrow moves, it will change its speed by the same amount, the number in the gravity variable. The gravity variable is storing the height of the white boxes in this picture from the video earlier. You can add a save block to see what's happening to your speed, or click the link in the description to see one other way programmers figure out what their code is doing. Oh, that was too fast. You can play around with speed y to slow it down. Our gravity is pointing in the wrong direction. Let's make it negative. There you go! One thing you can do in Scratch is double-click variables to give them a slider that you can control. Do that and remove the set speed blocks from your code. Now it's easier to play around with the initial speed values and see what effect they have. You can remove the save block if you don't need it. Changing the event trigger in the wand from click to space key may make it easier to shoot. The arrows make a shape called a parabola. If you increase the amount of gravity, the arrows will fall faster. Increasing their speed will make them go further again. If you have any projects that incorporate gravity that you want to share, post a link in the comments. The rest of this video will show various effects you could make by adding some randomness to the initial speed of your arrows. Please subscribe to the channel and like this video, and come back later for more videos about Scratch, programming, and games. Thank you for watching, and see you next time!